welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We got some news for you today. Three big stories. Monster Hunter Rise is, well, no longer a Switch console exclusive. So there's that. We got to talk about that. We have some updates on Sonic Frontiers DLC. And, well, a little bit more info on the Mario movie that is... Very strange, and no, it's not that thing you might be thinking about where there's like a 30-second commercial out there. That's not what we're actually talking about. It's something else. So, whew, buckle up. Let's get right into the news. But before we do, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, E. Win. Freaking racing. Ewin Racing provides some amazing office products out there for you guys looking to get a chair, maybe even a desk. They do have some sales going on right now. And if you use code Nintendo Prime, you can get an additional 20% off your order. That is absolutely insane. You guys should go check out their products in the link down in the description. It does support the channel and also gets yourself some really nice, well, office stuff like chairs and desks. So our first order deals with Monster Hunter Rise because it's going multiplayer platform next year including on game pass so the hit capcom game monster hunter rise is going to go to the xbox series x and s xbox one playstation 5 playstation 4 and pc which i think is weird it's already on pc so i don't know why that's included anyways in 2023 and it will be available on game pass oh maybe that's why maybe it'll be on game pass on pc that's probably Sure, I should have maybe read the story a bit more before I did this. Anyways, Monster Hunter Rise will be available on January 20th, 2023 on all of those platforms. And the expansion will be launching on those platforms in spring of 2023. It's said that Monster Hunter Rise will be a full 4K 60 FPS port with 3D audio on current generation systems. Now, this is a previously console exclusive game to switch it did come out on pc last year what's interesting though is that this is one of those games where nintendo did pay for exclusivity and the game was built for the ground up for switch so there's only so much they can really you know revamp a little bit to make it look better on other systems but also monster hunter rise looked really really good on Nintendo Switch, and yeah, Nintendo had that two-year exclusivity locked in. That exclusivity is coming to an end now, but uh, I don't think this is really a big blow. There are some Nintendo fans that feel like, oh, this is a blow to the Nintendo Switch's library. I guess if you want to say, oh, that's one less exclusive console exclusive in their library, cool. But dude, the thing already sold 11 million units, and its sales are pretty much dead at this point. They're not really selling any more Switch copies right now, so why not let more people enjoy the game? I'm all for stuff like this. Timed console exclusivity sucks in some situations, but I think in a case like this where they wanted to make sure Monster Hunter was actually purpose-built for Switch, uh, to, so we actually got a really good version of the game. I think this ended up working out for Nintendo, and it obviously worked out for Capcom. It's their second best-selling game ever in the entire company's history. So, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. But, hey, enjoy it. Uh, I'll probably check it out on Game Pass since I already have Game Pass just to see a little comparison to, you know, the, the Xbox and PC version to the Nintendo Switch version, at least the Game Pass version of that stuff. Again, I already know it's on PC, I'm just not going to buy it again when I already have it on Switch. Our next story deals with Sonic Frontiers DLC because they have updated the DLC roadmap for 2023. Remember, they have three specific DLC drops. We don't have the exact dates on these drops yet, but we now have details of what's included in them. And the first DLC update is going to add sound mode, photo mode, and a new challenge mode. Okay, these are just kind of basic additions. Um, I'm glad that they're being added, but it's not a whole lot. The second part of the update is going to add new Cocos and an open zone challenge mode. Also, content will be added to celebrate Sonic's birthday so you can kind of you know, go look up Sonic's birthday that gives you the idea when update 2 might drop and then update 3 is going to add new playable characters and additional story scenarios so they're going to be adding more story content to the game and new playable characters and as you see in the image those characters seem to be Tails, Knuckles, and Amy and look I mean if you finish off Sonic Frontiers you might understand why those would be the three characters I, I actually think this is pretty good. They're continuing to support Sonic Frontiers. It's going to get updates all throughout this year. Maybe we'll get a sequel or a pseudo sequel to this game here in two or three years, maybe four. But either way, I think this is good. I think they did a solid job here. Uh, they've also released patches and performance update patches and stuff like this already for the game. So they clearly are trying to make this the future of Sonic and its sales were really good at launch. I don't know if they're going to continue to sell well, but hey, Sonic Frontiers is getting what looks like some pretty quality content coming uh, via DLC over the next year. So, you know, if you're loving Sonic Frontiers and hoping for more, there's more coming your way in 2023. So that's what we got to talk about the Mario movie. Like the Super Mario Bros. movie is landing on April 7th next year. We just had a Nintendo Direct and I'll talk a little bit 
about how that affected the channel uh, later because that's not necessarily the news today. It's channel news, but not news that you guys care about. What we are going to focus, though, in on is the release date of the movie. So it's going to be available to purchase on May 11th, right? So you'll be able to like watch it digitally on some sort of streaming platform or buy it digitally. It might be available physically the same day. I don't know that that's confirmed. Whatever, May, ele- May-, May 11th. You know, it's a little over a month after the theatrical release on April 7th. But here's the weird thing is it was, you know, someone compiled all the dates of the theater releases. And it's normal for theatrical releases of movies to not be on the same day. But what's interesting is only the United States, Canada and Lithuania actually have the movie coming out on April 7th. Some places have it much earlier. In fact, the earliest is March 22nd in Belgium. But if you think it's bad right now that they're going to get it, you know, two, two and a half weeks before we do, think about this. Uh, if you're in Poland, you have to wait until May 26th. That's after you can already buy it. Like, that's ouch. Look, here's the all the dates that are listed currently. If your country's not listed, maybe there's no date official date for it yet. But what's interesting, of course, is that there is such a wide variance when this movie comes out. Basically, before we even get it here in the United States and Canada, we're going to already know if it's well received because it will have released in so many other territories. Now, a lot of other territories are just like the day before and with different time zones. It's not that big of a deal. But still, it's kind of interesting to see such a wide variance in release dates for this movie. But this is pretty typical in the movie industry, so we shouldn't be too surprised Uh, It even happens in the video game industry, just usually not to this sort of extreme. It's whatever. The Mario movie's coming out next year. And yeah, there was a new 30-second trailer. I'm not showing you any of that. And why am I not going to show any of that and even talk about it? Well, because my channel actually got a copyright strike. Not a copyright takedown. Not a copyright warning. A full-on strike for streaming the Mario movie uh, trailer yesterday. And that's why there was no... Uh, additional streams or additional videos went up yesterday and there wasn't anything this morning either because I was waiting for all of it to get cleared up. Obviously, you're watching this video, so it did get cleared up, thankfully, because I have an MCN that this is part of their job is to take care of this for me. But still, it was kind of unfortunate we even had to deal with that scenario. I wish YouTube didn't have such an automated system that did this. I don't know if other channels got striked. A lot of them seem like they're fine, but whatever. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on why. I'm probably going to be a bit tepid in covering Mario movie stuff moving forward. I will do my first impressions or initial impressions after I watch it, but besides that, I kind of might steer clear of it for a bit just to be safe. Anyways, folks, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.